It's December 12th, 2018, Wednesday. Here I have something on my bench that I haven't had to uh, deal with in a lot of years. This is a Hammond A28 preamplifier for the B3, the RT3. They put these in A100s. In the late 60s, the late 60s, I went down to the Hammond Organ Factory to train on a number of their organs to work for them as an independent uh, technician. And uh, one of the main instruments that I had a lot of training on was the X66 because it was still fairly new uh, then. But I also uh, had considerable hands-on training on some of these uh, B3s, they're, they're, they're vacuum tube organs, they're tone wheel organs, like this uh, preamplifier here. And uh, as it turns out, I have two of these to work on. This is the first one. This is the one I've had here for a little while. It, it's out of the organ that's at the recording studio that I do work for. Um, this one is interesting because it was installed in a Hammond Model A, probably about 36 or 37 vintage console. And it was done, the modifications uh, and installation was done by the engineer Alan Young, who worked for Hammond. I knew Alan pretty well. Very nice man. He's, he's gone now uh, for a number of years. He was a true scientist, Alan Young was. But anyways, he had modified this. One of the modifications, of course, is this uh, uh, linkage assembly because he had to make this fit inside the console. As a Model A console is shallow, it's not deep like the, uh, the B console is. And uh, he had to move the transformer a little bit. That's why this leg is sticking off the edge. Uh, let's see, he raised this transformer up and over so that it wasn't close to the edge. And in back, if you look down there, there was a can mounted in the chassis. He mounted it underneath because the can had to be, the electrolytic can had to be moved out of the way. And if we look under, let me get some light there. If we look under, we can see that here is the canny moved. And actually this electrolytic is, is the problem, although I'm going to replace all the electrolytics. The only thing I'm not going to replace are these capacitors because they were actually fairly high-end caps. And they're good. They work. Um, now this is something that he put in as a modification, and I have no idea what it's for. Uh, but I don't think it does anything, and I'm going to take it all out because uh, the, the wires coming out are taped off. He may have had that for blending in a reverb system. I don't know. But I'm going to take that off, and I'm going to put new electrolytics in. I'm going to use axial electrolytics. I'll probably have to put some terminal strips in. But I'm going to replace those electrolytics and uh, pop this back in the instrument at the recording studio and it should work just fine. Now this is my service manual that I've had for years. I got it from Hammond Organ. It shows the component layout, physical layout underneath and here is the actual schematic of the preamplifier, uh, AO28 preamplifier. So I've got all the information I need to do this job and to do it correctly. So. This should be an interesting project. I'm go I'm, I've been delayed a little bit in doing this work, but I'm glad to be able to get back into it. Now we're going to take a look at the second 
AO28 preamplifier that I got from another client that I have to do a repair or rebuild on. We'll take a look at that one. Here is AO28 preamplifier number two. My client bought this from an out of, uh, the, a B3 from an out-of-state seller that had this preamplifier rebuilt by a technician. And when it arrived in his home, um, the first issue was the 6x4 rectifier was rolling around inside the uh, console and uh, the socket, I don't know if my video will show it, but the socket's pretty cracked and, and broke up. That's, that's a real issue. Another issue is all four mounts of the transformer have broken. <laughs> uh, in all the shipping of organs, and I worked through a, a couple of different dealers, all the shipping of these organs since uh, up to 73 that went around and, and, and even ones that were shipped out for repair, I've never seen this happen. I, I don't know how that could happen. Uh, the only thing I can think of, it was shipped on buckboard uh, over uh, um, perhaps the Oregon Trail. I don't know. <laughs> but it's, it's quite broken. Now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn the camera off because I have to tip this over and I want to hold on to this transformer as I tip it. Um, so I'm going to show you the underside of it uh, uh, in the next clip. Okay, the first thing of note most of the leads of the transformer have broken loose because it was just rattling around as it was being shipped and um, a lot of that is due to some very unorthodox solder connections that were made um, the 6x4 rectifier socket is right here this all broken loose nothing nothing stayed in place just totally broken that happened uh, in shipping look at that wiring job um, I would be ashamed if I did work like this I really would be ashamed uh, he used radial caps which you can do that um, I prefer to use axials in old chassis like this because they're easy to figure out how to neatly wire in. The radial ones are a little bit more difficult and uh, so I think I'm going to replace. I'm going to, I have to do the other one first. I can't do this one first because the other one has prior, priority for the recording studio and it was here on my bench first. So that one is going to be the pattern to uh, to this one so I'll do that one first and then I'll do the same kind of work on this one as I did on that one here again he see this broken lead right there broke loose I'm assuming that's ground it was on the ground lug <laughs> oh my here's another one that broke loose so most of the work this other guy did, with the exception of maybe this radial cap here, broke away in shipping. And of course the socket, the 6x4 7-pin miniature tube socket is, is shot. I have to put another socket in. That is completely broken. I can't fix that. So this is what I'm up against. And... Uh, We'll see what it looks like when I get done with it. I, I hope to get to it quite soon. I got to get the other one done first, but I will work as fast as I can on that one and then get to this one. <laughs> 